we just take a minute to look at the Adidas official Twitter account right now? There's a lot going on here. Of course, you first look at the PFP. We got the board ape that they bought. I get it. Bio into the metaverse. Okay. And then you have space for one official link in your bio and they choose to do adidas.com backslash metaverse. Maybe we're not early anymore. This is Adidas with their backwards hat. How do you do fellow kids into the metaverse? No, in all seriousness, this is a good thing for the NFT community as a whole. I am just throwing a little bit of shade. Seven hours ago, we got an official launch tweet from the Adidas team, their first step into the metaverse. Prepare to go into the metaverse. Our collaborative NFT drop with G Money, Punk's Comic, Board Ape Yacht Club launches tomorrow, December 17th. Learn more on adidas.com backslash metaverse in the confirmed app. So this is that link for adidas.com backslash metaverse. Into the metaverse, as you can see, we got G Money logo, Board Ape Yacht Club, Punk's Comic, and Adidas. Discover the NFT to learn more. Click this button. Let's explore more. So this is adidas.com backslash into the metaverse. NFT pioneers G Money, Punk's Comic, and Board Ape Yacht Club each help guide Adidas originals into the metaverse. The NFT. The Into the Metaverse NFT digital collectible grants holders access to physical, exclusive Adidas originals, G Money, Board Ape Yacht Club, and Punk's Comic physical merchandise available to claim in 2022 at no additional cost. Gear for the iconic added color Firebird tracksuit as seen on Indigo Hertz and Courtney, a graphic hoodie as featured in Punk's comic number two, and G Money's classic orange beanie. Open Metaverse virtual land experiences co-created with the community throughout 2022 and beyond. Now let's get into the numbers of the drop. Prepare your wallet. NFT supply is limited to 30,000 for 0.2 ETH. If you told me it's going to be a 30,000 piece collection for 0.2, I would tell that collection to kick rocks. That seems like such a crazy money grab, but I do kind of get this this time. You're going to withhold 20,000 tokens reserved for holders of Adidas Originals, G Money, Board API Club NFTs, and all Pixel Vault NFTs. Wallet snapshots for early access were taken on December 14th. So if you're gonna try to do that now, it's too late. The general release will then happen after that where a minimum of 9,620 NFTs are reserved for the general sale, which will remain open until all NFTs are sold. Adidas and partners retain 380 NFTs with a portion allocated toward future events. So this is a picture from G Money's Twitter. The whole crew of the squad rolls deep. 0.2 ETH is a pretty hefty price tag and with a 30,000 piece collection, that's kind of a lot. But the reason I say it's not that bad is mostly looking at tweets just like this. Obsessed with Board Ape Yacht Club. This user bought the sweatshirt, hat, hat, hoodie, skateboard, the magazine, the basketball. People are collecting Board Ape Yacht Club like no other. Just typing in Board Ape Yacht Club on StockX, you can see how ridiculous the resale price are any of these items. One of my favorite YouTubers, Giancarlo, put out a really great tweet thread explaining his thoughts on this Adidas drop, and I really want to walk you guys through this. Okay, so the Adidas drop will be 0.2 ETH with 30,000 NFTs. It'll get you an exclusive tracksuit, hoodie, and beanie, as well as digital wearables for their sandbox plot his initial impressions. Price assumes a lot of value beyond the physical products. I'm not a streetwear expert, but how much would these three retail combined? 300? The digital wearables are cool, but again, we're pretty early in pricing branded digital fashion, so not sure what these would be worth. I completely agree with that side of things. Maybe more importantly, this is an entry ticket into the Adidas roadmap going forward. They obviously care a lot about coming across as a brand that gets Web3, and hopefully their advisors told them that one of the best ways to build goodwill is to treat your collectors well. It's kind of wacky that they haven't revealed the artwork and are 24 hours away from the drop. I guess they're going to slowly leak to build hype. Not sure I'm into that, but I'll probably buy just out of curiosity and because of the board ape tracksuit, no huge expectations. This is not financial advice, but personally I am going to be buying this collection. I already hold a few of the projects that are needed to be on the whitelist for this, so I will be minting at the point to eat. We've seen what happens when big companies come to our space and put out a project. This Pepsi mic drop collection looks like it had zero effort put into it and it's still sitting at 0.5 Ethereum as the floor. I'm just a much bigger believer in the Adidas brand, the Board Ape Yacht Club brand, Punk's Comic, all coming together to put out something that's definitely gonna be worth the 0.2 ETH. So that's the Adidas NFT drop dropping December 17th, 
But I do want to get into a couple more projects in this video that I really think have the potential to do really well. Before we dive in, it would be awesome if you would hit the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this to stay on the Cody on Chain NFT YouTube channel. The next project I want to talk to you about is Dino Babies in Space by Matt Bollinger. I know we talked about this project just a couple weeks ago, but the reason I'm bringing it up today is the mint is going on this weekend, December 18th and December 19th. Matt Bollinger is a very talented artist. He used to work at Warner Brothers and Nickelodeon. The goal of this project is for Matt to turn this into an animated show. Okay, I'll give you like a 10 second sneak peek into the intro of the show. Last time we talked about this project, the Discord was actually locked and that is not the case anymore. Important information, our Discord is now fully open and this is the Mint info. Whitelist Mint will be on December 18th, Saturday, and Public Mint will be on December 19th, this Sunday. The times will be posted in our Discord. There's still whitelist spots open if you're interested in getting on that list. I'm a huge fan of the art, honestly. I love the style that Matt has. I love this image. This one's sweet. We got the Mecha Dino Baby. We got the uh, the uh, Skeleton Dino Baby with the Cyborg Goggles and the Halo. The website's come a long way, the Discord's open, and Matt's vision is coming to life. 5,500 unique Ziggies will be minting this weekend. Oh, and right here at a price of 0.05 Ethereum, this is actually a very well-priced project. The second project I wanna to talk to you guys about today is Azuki. What great timing for this project to come out where one of their main things that they talk about is take the red bean and we show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Guys, the new Matrix drops December 22nd. This is very timely. Speaking of taking the red bean, here's this little sneak peek into their art, which I think is super sick. I love the transitions with the sword cut in the middle. I think this video is really well done. Speaking of really well done, high quality, check out this video they dropped on their Twitter talking about the process. If you check out their website, it doesn't really have anything except for the link to their Twitter, link to their Discord, Instagram that says coming soon. One thing it does have at the bottom though is the co-creators. You see Arnold Sang in Kairu Labs. Now Arnold Sang, aka Steam Boy, is a character art director for Overwatch and Blizzard. I'd say that's a pretty solid resume. Then when you check Kairu Labs, it's actually a team of four ex-big tech individuals coming together to create Kairu. And you gotta check out some of their descriptions because they're hilarious. Like Hoshi Boy, did Y Combinator twice, watches anime dubbed, not gonna make it. If you ask me, Azuki's gonna make it. We have an absolute onslaught of big corporations diving into Web3. This one, we got Toby, the creator of Shopify, saying, use Shopify for your NFT drops. Shopify, sell NFTs on Shopify. Mint and sell your own brand and NFTs with Shopify and Shopify payments right from your store. Join the beta program today. This is where it gets interesting. Make your play with Shopify freedom. Sell NFTs your way, credit cards, cryptocurrency, and more. If you go down to their FAQ section, they say, why should I sell NFTs through Shopify? With Shopify, we've taken the complexities out of crypto. Mint and list your NFTs on popular blockchains using Shopify's partner apps. Then list and sell your way. You and your customers don't need any crypto. You can accept payment using Shopify payments, shop pay, crypto payment gateways, credit, debit cards, and more. Plus, customers can easily claim their NFTs via email and add them directly to their wallets. Personally, I truly do not know how I feel about this. Someone said it best on Twitter. They said, right now we have mainstream's attention, but not mainstream's adoption. I'm not sure if this is Shopify's way of trying to enhance Web3 and add to it and make it better, or if they're just trying to take a cut of what's there. I do think Brett Malinowski made a good point though. Shopify NFTs has officially changed the space forever. The NFT market will be unrecognizable once Shopify implements NFT sales at scale. To all the NFT OGs, you have a critical choice to make regarding your outlook. 
A, embrace it and adapt, or B, gatekeep and get left behind. Anything that's better for the end user, I'm all about because I'm not a huge fan of OpenSea, but it is important for me to preserve what we've made in Web3, the communities we've built, and for us to make sure that we do our best to protect what we have. This interaction absolutely made my day, especially after doing all this research this week, talking about Nike joining the NFT space, Adidas and now Shopify. You can see that NFTs was trending. Kosher Plug pointed that out. And my boy Otto says, I can't wait to offload these awful bags onto retail. Someone's grandma is buying my Pixel Mecha and Space Cats. This is why I love this space. Comment down below what trash you're going to be offloading onto all these retail investors' hands.